Hey, it's John of Chicago South SEO and Website Services. And today I want to talk about how you can better secure your WordPress site. Hey, before we dive into it, I want to do a quick shout out to the Chicago WordPress Users Group who passed on this tip to me. Especially want to do a shout out to Edmund Dante Hamilton who is the organizer of the Chicago WordPress user group and incidentally that group meets every Tuesday at 6 p.m. in the Chicago Cultural Center which is located at 78 East Washington. If you live in the Chicago land area I would encourage you to stop by and spend some time with them on Tuesdays. I just wanted to do that shout out because they did pass this tip on and having done that let's now get into the business of securing your word, your WordPress site as I mentioned before this will help secure your WordPress site now I do want to I want to point out that this is not for the faint of heart if you're not comfortable doing this then don't my suggestion to you would be to get someone else to do this for you also I really want to point this out don't ever make changes to your WordPress site without first creating a backup okay let's move forward we're gonna do this and I'm gonna to try to accomplish this in three quick steps now the first thing you're going to need to do is to gain access to your WordPress installation directory probably the most simplest way to do that is to log into your hosting server or log into your hosting service in this case I am on bluehost.com and prior to getting to this screen I had to go into bluehost.com I had to enter the domain name of the website that I was using and I had to put in my password now once I did that it brought me to the screen you see in front of you and this screen is known as the cPanel. Now what you're going to need to do, as I mentioned earlier, is to gain access to your directory structure. And if you have a cPanel or something similar, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll down or you're going to want to locate the what's known as the file manager. And so we'll go ahead and we'll scroll down and we'll locate the file manager. and then and as far as the bluehost.com cPanel is concerned there's a subsection known as files and the icon we're going to want to click is called file manager so you would click this icon and once you click this icon you will be taking you will be taken to the cPanel file manager and I've got the file manager up and what you have in front of you now is you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to highlight and you're going to want to open up or edit the wp-config.php file as I mentioned earlier we're going to be changing the security keys that are part of the default installation of any WordPress installation and when I say security keys what I'm referring to are the security keys that are placed in your WordPress dot or your WordPress dash config dot PHP file during the installation now the WP config dot PHP file contains contains the configuration information for access to your database and also various login info there are approximately eight security keys that we're going to need to change now in order to change those keys we're going to need to open this file up and we're going to need to perform some edits and what you would simply do is you would highlight wp-config.php and you would in this case since we're using the cPanel we would click edit you can click edit or you can click code edit I prefer to click edit so you'd go ahead and click edit okay now we've we we're inside of the wp-config.php file as I mentioned earlier this is where all the configuration information 
for your WordPress website is sitting. For instance, this is where your database naming information sits. This is where your database user information is, as well as your database password. Now, of course, you never want to share this information with anyone. But I did want to point out this is where all of this stuff is sitting. And so you really want to be very careful. If you make a mistake here, if you put a you type the wrong thing in, then there is a huge potential that your WordPress site will probably not work. And you'll need to do some troubleshooting. The area that we're going to change is what's known as the authentication keys and salts. And the keys that I mentioned, there are eight keys are these keys right here. These are the things that we're going to want to change. Highlight this for you. We're going to change these and we want to change these because these are always these keys that you're looking at in front of you these are standard on any WordPress installation and so hackers know that and they'll use this if they get a chance to compromise your site so we're going to change these and one of the ways we're going to change these is we're going to go to the wordpress.org site and I'll just click on this tab here and there is on this site what is known as a random security code generator and incidentally the full URL for that is going to be displayed on the screen And so you're going to want to go to this site because this is where you're going to this is where you're going to get unique keys or random keys that you can use for your WordPress installation. One of the things you're going to want to do is to scroll down. So we'll scroll down. And you want you're going to want to get to the security keys section. And here's the security keys section and the online generator for new salt is there's a blue link that is uh, in the text or in that area you're going to want to click on that and when you click on that it's going to generate new keys now do not use this this is just an example this, these are just example keys right here do not use these you're going to want to click on this link which is uh, going to create new online keys that you're going to take and that you're going to paste into your WordPress config file. Okay, let's go ahead and click on the online generator. These are the new security keys that have been generated. Now you can do one of two things. We'll copy this. You can paste this directly into your config file and replace the keys or you can paste it into something such as a notepad file and then paste. I tend to like to paste into notepad first. No word wrap there, we'll get rid of that. And then from here I tend to like to recopy and then I want, then I paste. So we've recopied, we've pasted it into notepad, we've recopied, we going, are going to come back to the wp-config.php file. We've already, we, we've already got it highlighted here and all we simply have to do is to paste the contents and replace what I've highlighted. Now you can do that one of two ways. You can, you can I believe, do a right click and do a paste, but I simply just hold down the control key on my keyboard and click the letter V. So that would just be control V. And we, as you can see, we have replaced the standard or default security keys with new randomly generated keys. Now, after you've done that, all you need to do is then save your file. And if all goes well, you have taken a great step to further securing your WordPress website. Now, if there is a problem, my advice to you would be to 
restore that file using the backup that you created. Restore the wp-config.php file using the backup that you created and then try again. Unless you have changed something else within the installation, there should be no problems. Okay, that's how you take a step to secure your WordPress website. Once again, I want to thank the Chicago WordPress Users Group for the tip. That's how you do it. If you've got any questions for me, certainly feel free to drop me a line. Once again, it's chicagosouthseo.com. Take care and have a great day.